I'm so glad you clicked this video because maybe you and I are on the same page about self tanners. I was like, okay, let me find a self tanning product that's one, easy to use. Second of all, something that's not gonna make me look superficially tan. And then the fucking microchip in my phone or my brain or whatever obviously heard me talk about this. And then out of nowhere, I started getting all these TikToks about self tanner, even though I never researched it myself. And then they made me buy something. So it worked. This is the Bondi Sand, what is it? This is the Bondi Sands Pure self-tanning sleep mask. I saw a girl on TikTok use it. She just applied it as if it was a regular moisturizer before bed and then woke up the next day and her face looked so naturally tan. I will test this out and let you guys know if it does what it promises to do and this product will definitely be linked down below if any of you guys want to try it out. Wait until you see the after so that you know if it's worth buying. Hello everybody. It's really late. I'm about to go to bed so don't mind the fact that I'm literally so tired but I actually just did a light layer of a body tan as well. I used the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse and this is in the dark shade. I hadn't done this in a while and I'd kind of forgotten how pretty and like natural it looks. That took like 15 minutes, which isn't too bad. And I just wanted a little bit of like a body tan going so that it could match my face if this actually ends up working. I wash my face, there's nothing on it. All you basically have to do is apply this all over your face, avoiding your eyes after you wash your face and then don't apply any other skincare products until the color is developed. For best results, leave on skin overnight and you can reapply as desired. It sounds pretty easy. Can't go wrong with that. Almost like the universe made me say things that would foreshadow what would actually happen. There's actually hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it, which is a nice touch. Y'all really know I'm using this for the first time. Okay, interesting. Comes out in this white color. It looks just like a regular moisturizer, basically. Ooh, but it does feel a little thicker, and it smells just like sunscreen. Am I gonna be putting it, like, in my eyes? Good! Good thing you're not putting it in your eyes. Can you tell it's like two in the morning? But I am gonna put a little around it because that just really helps me get rid of dark circles. I feel like I need a little bit more for my forehead area. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that decision. And just bringing a little down to my neck. I actually also just self tan my neck, so shouldn't be too much of a contrast. Oh, should I put some on my ears? I don't know. Okay, so that was basically the easiest self tan process I've ever done on my face. And I will come back tomorrow, do a before and after, and we'll see if this baby actually develops overnight. I'm actually really excited. I've been putting this off for a few nights now. <laughs> I keep forgetting. The next day. Oh my god, you guys, I'm about to show you my face and you're not even gonna believe what I look like. Like, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. <laughs> um, do you see me? Do you see how tan I am right now? Like, like, I did not expect this. I thought I would have to use it like multiple, multiple times before I see like even like the slightest noticeable difference. I just look like I came back from vacation. I'm gonna be linking this down below. They weren't kidding. Also, Loving Tan. I use Loving Tan on my body, but also did me so well. Like, I feel so hot. I look sun-kissed as fuck. The sun came and took a big smooch on my face. I'm so happy it worked. Like, my boyfriend noticed. That's when you know it worked. Your girl is tan. I'm gonna do a workout. I'm sorry I'm like narrating this, but like that was a bad decision to do a workout. Hot girl summer starting. And honestly, get you a boyfriend who self tans your back with no streaks. You did so well. Job. <laughs> I just like can't stop staring at my body. Oh my God. I can't even breathe. I look like a Cheeto. <laughs> oh. I really can't talk. I had a few Rudy Giuliani moments during that workout. Oh, <laughs> hopefully they wash off. I'm about to go in the shower. I'm supposed to wash off your tan so you get rid of that top layer. Ew. <laughs> I have therapy in 30 minutes, so let's get this mess off of me. Hi guys, so it's day two of having the self tanner on and it got darker. Maybe I did a bad job at blending it, but do you see how it's like splotchy? Like, and now it looks kind of ugly. My mustache is darker. I don't know, it, and I've washed it so many times. I've washed my face probably like four or five times. I've washed it with an electric brush. It won't come out. I think it's cute. 
You think it's cute? Besides the fact that I literally look like a Oompa Loompa. We're getting our COVID vaccine today. We have an appointment in 20 minutes. We're getting Pfizer. This is our first dose. Let's ignore my face. Let's act. No one say anything about it. Hiding my face with the most large sunglasses that I could find. Type in COVID appointment. First one we found. It's free. We go there. They don't really check for anything. Why are these on? You just need to put in like your address and date of birth and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to be showing you guys what the COVID vaccine process looks like and then maybe we'll watch this all together in 10 years and be like damn if only she knew until then let's go get these shots I'll be out here now you really can't see my tan so that's good Okay, so we basically just waited in line and now we're waiting in another line. I came to the shade right here so I can give you a breakdown of what's happening. Also didn't want to stand under the sun, to be honest. So we got in line. They asked us for our IDs in our insurance cards, but I don't think you need to have insurance because the COVID vaccine is free. <laughs> Sorry, apparently I was flashing everyone. <laughs> they took photocopies of them. They asked us, this is our first dose or our second dose. We both said first. And now, waiting in this line to go in there. That's as far as we've gone. I don't know if I like this tan. See, now it doesn't look that bad. Now it just looks like naturally bronze. I still can't tell. Can you guys let me know in the comments? I used way too much, that's for sure. I like lathered that shit on. I feel like I need a little bit more for my forehead area. Which, what was I thinking? I literally thought it wasn't gonna work. Okay, we got our shop. If you guys wanna see it. Dumb, show yours. We have to wait in this little lobby for 15 minutes. Okay, just got home. Pfizer in my arm. I actually asked the lady, I was like, can I vlog this? And she was like, no. And I've seen so many people take videos of themselves while getting the vaccine. So I'm like, whatever. Tom was like standing right outside. And like, I was like, I need to get vlog footage of me getting this vaccine. Like that's literally this vlog. So Tom was like standing outside. His went faster than mine. He was like ahead of me. So he was just like waiting outside the door for me to be over. And I was just like, like really slyly. I was like going like that to be like, take a video, like take a picture. And I don't know how the nurse saw me do that. And she was like, I said no pictures. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I was telling him that. That's literally what I said. Like that's the first thing that I thought of. She for sure did not believe me. But then like Tom took out his phone anyway to take a picture of me. And the lady was like, and I was like, you can't take a picture. How bad it hurt. Honestly, I got a tetanus shot and an HPV vaccine like a month ago. I'm like comparing this to them. It hurts like a tetanus shot would. Like it, you feel it sting when it goes in your arm. This one took like a really long time though. Like it hurt a little tiny bit more than the tetanus shot, but I'm like really sensitive when it comes to anything with needles or anything like that. And I was fine, so you'll be fine. Tom said he didn't even feel his, so that's how he went. They say that after the first dose, you don't really feel anything. Like you don't really feel Feel, you know some of the common symptoms that come with the vaccine like getting a little sick um, You kind of tend to feel that on the second dose is what I've heard But my sister got hers and she said her arm has been really sore And I think it's because a lot of people when they get a vaccine They like don't move their arm like but if you just like act normal and exercise it and move it around I've noticed that it doesn't hurt like that. I'm not a doctor guys Never use this <laughs> <laughs> No, you just put too much of it <laughs> Use it better than I did. I literally have felt so ugly today because I've been trying to exfoliate to get it off, but it like comes off of certain parts and not other parts. So now it just looks, I don't know, like I was on naked and afraid or something. Wait, who posted this picture of you? <laughs> Tom, you're so mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guys, Tom never calls me ugly. Like even when I do my makeup really ugly, like, and I know that I messed up, he still calls me pretty. But Tom has started saying <laughs> stuff about my tan, which that's how I know it's bad. So it's all your fault. <laughs> No, but actually like if I used a tiny tiny amount and I like applied it super evenly How much did you put? A lot like I lathered my face in it. It was so thick because I thought it wasn't gonna work. It works really good too good that you should be careful with it Like I wish it worked less good me still trying to get a sponsorship by this company 
I already worked with them once. I do see, sometimes I look good. Like in this angle, I look good. Yeah, it looks good. But then like, let's go to the other bedroom. It looks really messy. So Verse, the skincare brand, actually just did a little drop off. I was at my mom's earlier and it's for their new merch collection that's completely sustainable. And I guess like as part of PR for their sustainability, they actually dropped off this plant. And I literally have been thinking like, my apartment is nice and aesthetic, but there isn't a lot of like greenery and like life to it. Let's figure out where we're gonna put this yes. what is that shit I guess I can put it outside so there's this new movie coming out it's called Voyagers have you heard of it dude I saw trailer for it it was so good okay well I got an early screening link so when can we watch it well we can watch it today let's see where Right the second. And they asked me if I want like a goodie box to go with the premiere. And I was like, yes! Movie companies are like literally my favorites to work with. Whoa. Holy. Can you show that for me? This is the box. Donde esta mi teléfono? Greetings, Voyagers. The items in the space kit are designed to amplify pleasure and enhance your intergalactic experience. We've got some moon juice dream dust i'm so obsessed with boy smells candles like they smell the best some non-alcoholic champagne and this is supposed to be a wait what, what did it say so this is a sunlight happy lamp let's turn this on because i could always use some more happiness <laughs> natural spectrum light therapy lamp may help to reduce the effects associated with winter blues jet lag shift work and seasonal time changes and boost your sense of well-being Yeah. <laughs> 